Parashas Achremos begins with the most stressful moment of the year. The Kohen Gadol, the high priest, is about to enter the Kodesh Kadashim, the Holy of Holies, and he only is allowed to go there once a year. As the Pesach says, V'yal Yavu B'chol Eist, you can't just go into the Holy of Holies whenever you want. Once a year, and only the Kohen Gadol can go inside. So let's picture what happens when he is inside. Well, the main part of his service is that he is to offer the Ketores the incense. And when he offers the Ketores, he burns the Ketores, all of a sudden there is smoke. There is a cloud that comes up. And Hashem says, the purpose of this cloud is Ki Be'anan Ero'el HaKapores. We know that Hashem's presence is in the Kodesh Kadash in the Holy of Holies. It rests on top of the Aron meaning top of the cover of the Aron, which is called the Kaporas, Mibain Shnei HaKruvim, in between the two Kruvim that sit on top of the Kaporas, and right in between is when Hashem says, that's where His Shechina rests. So when the Kohen Gadol goes in to the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur, and he wants to make sure that Hashem brings His Shechina down to the people into the Beis Hamikdash to show His love for us, so the Kohen Gadol has to be mocked near the Ketores. He has to bring the Ketores to create a cloud so that he does not come face to face, per se, with Hashem Shechina, but rather Hashem Shechina appears in a cloud. And so Rav Meir Shapiro, Zechat Salik Levracha, says that the Torah is giving us a beautiful illusion through this idea of a cloud and Hashem's presence being within the cloud. And he says that that illusion, that lesson is that for all of us as people, we have to never give up hope. Particularly when we go through difficult periods, challenging periods. Because the words Be'anon Era'e Alaka Pores, that in the cloud, Hashem says, His Shechina rests on the Kapores. So he says, when the darkness covers up the land, when there's darkness, we look all around us, we're going through something personally, we go through something communally, we go through something as a people, and all we see is darkness, the, the sun does not shine, all we see is clouds. So Mayor Shapira says, when one thinks in such a situation, it's so dark outside, we know, in such a dark, gloomy day, we think to ourselves, how does the sun ever come out? I can't even imagine what it would look like for the sun to shine. But of course we know that eventually the clouds move and the sun does come out. So he says when it's dark and it's gloomy and in our own personal struggles, when we see only clouds and we don't see any suns, he's, we don't see any sun, Kodesh Baruch Hu says, that's precisely when his Shechina comes to us and rests in the midst of the Jewish people, rests with us personally and it gives us a sense of hope that Hashem is with us. Imo Anochi Bitsara, that Hashem is with us through difficult times, just as we believe that Hashem is with us through good times as well. And it was from this image of the Kohen bringing the Ketores on Yom Kippur, the Rav Meir Shapira says, we garner Chizuk strength that during, during our difficult struggles, when we only see clouds, just remember within those clouds, is Hashem Shechina Hashem, Hashem's presence in order to give us strength to get us through those challenging times. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos.